this is a very quick video about how to make engineer's blue or marking blue with um, some materials that you can find in hardware stores here are the materials that I've technically bought from Bunnings warehouse here is one kilogram shellac flakes from Unipro and Digger's methylated spirits also you will need some sharpie preferably blue color and what we do is just technically pour shellac, sharpie and methylated spirits into a bottle and here I have different um, varieties of um, permanent markers different brands I actually um, made a mistake by putting the the internals directly so you can squeeze the methylated spirits with an injector and clean the whole take the whole ink out and technically one part um, two parts of methylated spirits um, one part of shellac and five uh, permanent blue permanent markers and here are the results What happens is, the more markers you put in, the darker the blue gets. And this is method one. The method two is with the navy red dye, powdered dye, exactly with the same formula. They're exactly in the same level, almost. But um, two parts of uh, methylated spirits, one part of shellac, and one part of um, red navy blue red dye. And in comparison, here's the red dye. And here's the marker formula. They are very easy. The lines are very easy to see. But um, I strongly recommend after you do the mixture, just wait at least um, 10 days. So the shellac dissolves totally. And if you can find a bottle with a um, brush, or you can just technically install a brush inside, you can apply it straight on with the brush. I technically use a foam brush, but unfortunately methylated spirits is so strong, it tends to eat the foam brush. So as soon as I use the foam brush, I technically wash it clean and I store my blue inside the better in bottle so next time when I use it when I need it I technically uncap and dip the foam brush and place it onto the surface and also here's a black color batch that I made um, with the red dye some time ago and you can see that it is actually here it just technically pretty much fully dark and if you want to scribe onto the surface you can see that the lines are very clear and sharp this is uh, aluminium 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 and steel so all right hope this solves the problem of how to make a red dye based or sharpie based engineers blue at home